Hello, this is Cura 2.10, which Surpazano has recently been released. Now, Surpazano, I'm using a beta here, but if you go under advanced over there on the right, you'll find you're going to get lots and lots and lots of options. So I'm on settings there, and let's have a scroll down. Going quite quick there, but there's lots. Let me slow it down a little bit so you can hopefully see some of them. This goes on and on. More things to make a mistake from, I think. You pick the wrong thing and say, right, where to go and such like. We can add things, we can do profiles. Notice the ultra quality there, high quality. Or low quality obviously the higher quality the more time it's going to take the more plastic it's going to take and we can import we can export we can rename so let me remove that one because i'm just walking about here just having a quick look trying to see what there is under plugins we've got a lot of plugins as well lots lots of different plugins there if we click on the right that little thing there it tells us about the plugin briefly let me go down to x-ray let me click on x-ray i see oh so if i actually click on the word x-ray on the left it sort of centers the screen like this on that sort of pop-up box i'm going to call it click on the right option down there and it tells us a little bit about that plugin very seems very brief we've got view center camera and such like then settings things like this let's go to general okay close it's now and then over here if we click on the cogwheel we go to that area within that sort of big window that was showing you earlier so it's like it jumps in a way within an index within that window which is handy it's a, like a quicker jump instead of having to scroll through all these lots and lots and lots of options we've got qualities as you see nozzle diameter i think i had to actually click that it wasn't already clicked i don't think even temperature or something on the hot end was sort of set if i remember so check that if you don't advance this is enable retraction temperature there looks a bit warm for me i'm under that advanced tab there let me change that to 190 i won't be doing any g code creating any g code in this video let me change the retraction i've got an e3d version 6 with a boarding and 2 is the recommended maximum for that book 1.75 as probably one normally pick I might increase this speed a bit to 50 that might be a bit fast i don't know i'm still experimenting with my settings when i go to print infill there infill of zero so i get used to shells sort of thing i think i've seen shells or oh, there is a shell option up there let's see if we click over there we go to that area within that on that little sort of gay wheel over there we go to that area within and here if we got print speeds there so if we click that gear wheel we go into the speed area that's within this big window of all these options so that's a bit like a shortcut to within this area within this window Ultra quality high quality low etc etc create our own apparently profile see and it does come up with good pop-ups well sort of pop-up help tips in a way when you hover over things let me open a file here now this will take me a bit of time because i've forgotten where to look <laughs> second let 
Peter Powell's I've just been working on earlier today actually. These files need some modification still possibly. So SDL file, let me pick one of these, let me build the main body. Copy there. Now it does take it seem to take a bit of time to load in the file as you see there it's going backwards and forwards on that sort of bar graph at the bottom. So this is taking a little bit of time to load. This is what we'd call a moderately sized and complex model actually. I wouldn't call it majorly. And when it first comes in, it comes in bright red for some known reason. But after a second or two it actually shows you the model. And straight away it goes to slicing over there bottom right, which is one thing Covis seems to do. If you breathe on it, it goes to slice it. It's slicing all the time. Which I assume will actually save slicing time when you come to do it. I will not be saving this as a G code, sorry, at the moment. But notice the name down there. It sort of changed the name PDS43P. I don't know why it's done that. Obviously, you can save file. Let me. So, can we right click on that window and then I can do things like reposition the model? This will help save the, your build plate footprint in different areas. Let's see, I've got options there if I want to. Right click and go and rotate over there and then I can rotate the model. Obviously, I can do a sort of backflip as well if I want. Think uh, the scale, things like that. Not sure what that one does. View mode, we've got solid. Let's slip, pick x ray. I think if the visual code had more, let's go back to solid. I think it had transparent and some others. I don't know about actually looking at the layers on this. I've only very briefly had a quick play around with this. This is all I'm doing. Save all, save the file. And then it's going to do the G code. But again, notice the letters, it's stuck in front of the name here. I'm not sure what those mean, to be honest with you. It might be some significance as to the type of print I'm asking it to do. Or well, what, I don't know if it comes up with random names there. Obviously, you can change it here and ask it to save it as the file name you want. But that seemed a bit odd to me. And that would save the G code, which I'm sorry I'm not going to do. We've got snap rotation there, so. And then if we go to simple mode, it looks a lot, lot simpler. We've got hollow and light and density. Again, it's slicing down here, bottom right. Save the file down there, bottom right. That's coming up to save as the G code. Again, with this odd name that it seems to come up with. And then we've got various things up here. I see that's something about build look there. Settings, yeah, and that goes into this big setting window with all the 140 odd options I think they mention. High quality, ultra quality, ultra. Remember that will take more time and more plastic if you do select that. And you'll need a nozzle and such like to be able to do that. And then we've got show engines about let's show the about so it's cover 2.1.0 so i don't know this is a beta version okay i'm going to finish off there i'm going to take a look at this